r slash ask reddit doctors of reddit what is the most how the fuck did that happen to you case you've seen i once had a patient that got pregnant despite never having sex she had severe vaginismus and was not able to ever have anything go into her vagina but a significant other ejaculated onto her and apparently one little swimmer found an egg was working in R&D a few years ago. The witching hour was upon us, and a man came, in looking in some discomfort. He had a delicate issue in his nether regions. He was very embarrassed so off we went to a cubicle, where he told us, that he had fashioned himself a knot made for purpose cockering out of a large metal nut. Unfortunately there was no venous return possible and his penis had become odomatous, swollen, and painful. He thought, hoped, it might subside, but then it started turning blue. By the time we saw it, it was extremely swollen and turning black. If he thought he was saving himself embarrassment by waiting, he thought again, when we called the fire brigade, to bring their large cutting instruments, to free his strangulated member. Edit, the urologist said he would keep his peace, but may suffer functional problems in the future. My friend is a doctor, and worked in Africa for some time. You can imagine, the hospital itself was a house, you could also have a school in. If no doctor had time even the janitor would stitch you up. One day, two people came in, one with an axe in the head. Surprisingly he was still alive. When trying to get the operation prepared, my friend asked the other guy without an axe in the head who he was. Brother? Cousin? Dad? Friend? No, neither of them. He was the owner of the axe and just wanted his fucking axe back. My mother is an emergency nurse and a while back a 90 year old woman came in the, the department complaining of pain in her leg below the knee. After an examination my mother suggested an x-ray. X-ray comes back and it turns out the leg had been broken several months prior, snapped clean across both the tibia and fibula and she had somehow ignored what must have been excruciating pain and continued about her life and then the bones had healed but not straight. The top of the bones were to the left and about 2 inches below where they were supposed to be and they had fused to the lower parts at the side like that. In the end there is nothing that could realistically be done as to sort the leg out would require a breaking it. Nurse here. Had a patient come in due to pain in her chest 4 months after having a mastectomy. When we changed her dressings the site was so infected that I could see her lung inflating when she took a breath. She died a week later. Still don't know why she didn't come in earlier. There was a patient in the hospital where I work and one of his legs had gotten so infected it split open and maggots were living inside of the open wound and he called them his pets. Lady with very poorly controlled diabetes and morbidly obese came in via red with a gaping hole on her thigh like so deep you could put your whole fist through it. It was oozing ridiculous amount of blood, so much so she had to be transfused. Her blood levels were rock bottom. It transpired she'd accidentally cut herself when Trina to wriggle into jeans. Meantime, the wound just kept getting bigger and bigger, and she attempted to just sort it by packing the wound with socks. Single worst thing I've seen. My neighbor was an ex-emergency room nurse, whenever we would ask her about strange cases, most answers were, you don't want to know. The only story I have is really strange. One day, a morbidly obese woman rolls into the emergency room, her legs couldn't support her weight anymore, and complains about mild stomach pain. After letting several people with mild ailments get treated before her, she sits up and rolls to the staff only water cooler behind the counter. My neighbor tells her about how the cooler is only for staff, and she starts to go away. Midway, she stops and from under her skirt a baby falls on the floor. Apparently this woman was pregnant, and didn't notice, because of her weight. How the heck didn't she feel giving the excruciating pain of giving birth? What the fuck? Edit, the baby lived, and apparently she just had intercourse without protection, and was stupid enough to believe she wouldn't get pregnant. I'm not really sure if she kept it or not, but I'd like to think so. Saw a guy who had a pretty blunt machete lodged perfectly across the middle of his skull, but the angle was unusual, and it was like perfectly along, so that caught my attention. 
turned out the guy had, unsuccessfully, tried to murder his wife with a machete and later regretted it, so he hit himself in the head with it. He held it with his hand, sharp side front, and gave himself a whack perfectly in the middle of his skull. Thankfully the machete barely made it into the skull, and since it was along the middle it didn't touch any brain tissue. Old paramedic here, I had a 60s male found on his hands and knees quite dead. He was positioned to receive a dildo mounted to the door lifter on a garage door opener. The track was modified to run the length of a mattress powered by the one half horsepower opener. He used the remote button to forward and reverse the lifter with a plate adapter for a large rubber dildo. He had taken a massive heart attack. A PAI work with saw this patient with an external fixator. Normally these are rods and screws outside the body holding a fracture stable until swelling or what have you goes down so they can operate and internally fix the fracture. They are normally on for a few days. Cut to this guy's office where a patient walks in one day with an X-fix on his leg that has been there for 3 fucking years. The guy lived a normal life and just thought it was the way they fixed legs. How he never got an infection I'll never understand. I used to work in supported living mental health residential care. I once had a lady insert a large pair of kitchen scissors into her vagina, luckily handles first, one Friday morning. I had the weekend also, when I got back in on Monday night she confessed and told me that they'd been there for 4 days and were starting to hurt. When we got to her and they dismissed it at first due to her learning difficulties, but after his raise we got sent to have them pulled out with forceps. She complained that the doctors and nurses weren't very nice about the whole thing. Had a healthy 20 something guy come in coughing up a ton of blood. And I mean a ton. Was in the IQ, getting unit after unit of blood. Intubated and bronchoscopy, put a camera down the trachea to look at lungs, performed and what do they find, or thumbtack. They successfully remove the thumbtack and guy recovers, breathing tube removed. So we ask the guy, how the heck a thumbtack got in his lung. Turns out when he was 8 or 9 he played a game with his neighbors where they would see who could hold the most thumbtacks in their mouth. He must have inhaled one, but it didn't cause problems for 10 plus years. Then he got bronchitis, and was coughing a lot, and must have moved the tack, and caused it to puncture his lung. We had a guy come into the emergency department who had been refusing his home health care for 2, 3 weeks. He had significant leg wound from his feet up to about mid thigh. When he arrived to the ed, the bandages around his legs that hadn't been changed for 2, 3 weeks were a dark brown or black color and smelled very foul. We unwrapped them to find tens of thousands of maggots burrowing their way through the man's legs, all the way from his toes to his mid thigh. He had no idea they were there because he had peripheral neuropathy and couldn't feel his legs. The kicker was when the nurses went to put a catheter in his penis, he has maggots coming out of it as well. No clue how far up they went. He was completely uptunded and died sometime after that. Had a woman, mid 40s, obese and unkempt come in one night. She seemed to be disassociative as well, but it could have been from the fever she showing signs of having. She complained of acute pain in her vagina that had been going on for a few days. Upon examination maggots were found. Big, fat, mushy, well fed maggots. They had eaten all the way into her abdominal cavity where a bird was found. No idea what kind of bird it was other than dead. It was beyond recognition. The woman was septic. She died. She died from masturbating with a fucking bird. No pun intended. Man was stabbed in the face and got radiographs and a computed tomography as a result. The knife blade, probably about a 7 in blade, entered medial to his left eye and stopped 1 or 2 millimeters from his brain. The curved side of the blade was pointing toward the top of his head, almost like someone had come up behind him while he was sleeping to attempt to kill him. He walked out in another day or so after having the blade removed. His eye was fine. Doctor. Multiple incredibly advanced cancers, mostly breast, head and neck, cervix, and anal. One or two vulva cancers that was particularly bad as well. Worst non-cancer case was during intern year. Morbidly obese man comes through emergency department. 
so large he had to have two bariatric beds pushed together. He wasn't to be my patient, but he had a lot of anxiety and embarrassment with female doctors. For some reason we just had a connection. I really felt like he just needed to talk. Talked about his situation, home life, all of it. He had this calm and peace about him despite his health. He passed away two days later. At first it was hard to comprehend how life would come to that, yet in the end I understood. I'm sorry man I wish things had been better.